pretty darn soon. <laughs> uh, notice that their sleeves are gold and brown, my two favorite colors, so that's yeah. pretty cool. <clears throat> they picked, they, we made them use those just for you. Thanks, Dad. Of course. Best present ever. After your 03 drop, we had to... Hey, James, will you go tell them to make sure they use our dice? I see that JW has some dice out. I don't want to see that. Thanks, baby. Sure. We'll give you a thousand yen, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're throwing thousand yen out. <clears throat> Henry, what, I got you, what are you going to spend your thousand yen on? I don't know. He doesn't know. Charity. Charity. <laughs> wow. Dude, I heard you can feed a kid for like half an hour on a thousand yen. <laughs> <laughs> So clearly Justin got the memo about the dice. Uh, we appreciate James Koss. He is a wonderful human being. Team Poly Swag, says JW. Cool, man. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> waiting on this game to get started. Um, looks like they're still shuffling. I'm going to try Toronto's not here. Zelda Top Cut Central. <laughs> I, I, I. Sorry, we're talking to Dustin Zerman. Dustin Zerman. is just really, really, really stressed out. He's having a really hard day. He just has no idea what to do with all the free things. Right. He just, uh, <laughs> we, he's holding we three really boxes of plasma glass. <laughs> Poor guy. He's trying to find a home for his three boxes. You guys ever notice how short Dustin is? He's not that short. He's, he's, like, a, he's, like, a, he's like a little he's hobbit really person. Average. He's like very average. He's like a very high, he's a little average. hobbit guy. Travis is really short. Travis is cute. Travis is a little guy. Travis is so ugly. <laughs> Travis is yeah, so Travis wrong. Yeah, Travis is oh ugly. You're wrong, Travis. All right. We should talk about the game that they're shuffling. There is no game, Kenny. God, ooh, the FIFA Fentanyl. Like, no, we're going to talk about our ugly friends until they start playing. Like, there's literally nothing to talk about right now. That's not true. I shuffling analyzed technique. the entire matchup shuffling while technique. we were waiting for them to start, and they still haven't started. Shuffling technique. Okay, Justin is shuffling JW's deck. That's funny to me. <laughs> the end. They're in the finals of a regional, and they still feel the need to shuffle each other's deck. Justin it's the most important time to shuffle everyone's deck. <laughs> oh, okay. I shuffle everyone's deck, except yours. Do you seriously shuffle everyone's deck? Yeah. I mean, not like, like Maddie's, but yeah, pretty much. Maddie shuffles mine though when he gets mad. Oh, Maddie, like Maddie, will, like you can tell he's doing it again because he'll just be like, or he'll be like, <laughs> like, if he, if, like, all right, man. If he thinks you're getting too lucky, he tries to shuffle yeah. you out of your whatever. All right, so Justin opens with a lone basic. Um, hopefully for him it's a Victini. Hopefully for JW it's a Drift Loon or something. Absolutely. Uh, JW. For the viewers at home, please don't put your prizes like that. Like, what? Why? Why do that? Also, or that. Oh God, both God, of them. God, what are you doing? And we were talking to Justin earlier. Hey, is this about Henry? Uh, I just got this again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not about Henry. Uh, so it looks like... No, it's not. I'll tell you it's about later. It looks like JW is going to be going first. Handshake. Respectable players. Boom. Hey! Slow roll to Buffalant. We were talking to Justin earlier about the match. Going into it, he thought that a uh, better idea might be to go for his track in. I don't know if you guys can hear Henry talking, really, but the he's saying... The lights on the mixer aren't flashing at all. We might just have to repeat what he's saying. Okay. I feel like this just this setup really isn't doing it. Yeah. yeah. We tried. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, so, it's going to... JW is going to start a Terrakian and attach a energy to it. Dude, that's and, a really weird looking Terrakian. Is that like a secret? I'm sorry, Buffon. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> Ultra Ball away a... Drift Loon or Drift Limb or something? That's a Drift Can't, can't really tell yeah, which. And a the Juniper. That's one. And a Juniper. So Justin has a supporter. Or he's playing it real reckless, but I think we can assume he has a supporter. Um, he's probably... Presumably going to Ultra Ball for Victini here if he has the outs to a turn one Turbo Energize. If not, I wouldn't be surprised if he got like a Terrakian so we could just start attaching manually. He goes for the Victini, so um, I'm assuming he has a turn one Turbo Energize or something close to it. Only time will tell. The drift, the drift loon has two retreat, tree, right? That's only a drift yeah, limb that has the free. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's another like pretty big inconvenience with starting drift loon. Is that he's a little fat guy? He does have four float stones though, and it's four float stones and four free retreaters. That uh, dude, stop! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Team Poly Swag represent. Um, I think Justin's know. telling him to stop. <laughs> he's like <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was just confirmed yeah, that confirmed. yeah, Justin told him to knock it off. <laughs> Justin getting getting his mind a little bit, maybe doing that psychology tricks. Dude, I, Justin, he was well. telling me all about how like 
You never do the same thing to your opponent's deck twice. I always alternate. Cut, shuffle, tap. Cut, tap, shuffle. Shuffle, tap, cut. Like. Well, that sounds like obsessive compulsive disorder, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's just... <laughs> and I also think he's kind of let up on that, because I haven't noticed any patterns or lack thereof, but... Yeah, Juniper, and uh, I know one thing, like, as far as psychology and when that goes, is that Tylen and Mora, whenever he's in the best two of three game, uh, I guess he isn't in Switch Top Cut, he'll always say, like, Judge, wait, so what happens if but we both play first ticket? Okay, but what happens if I play, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> he's completely just levels his opponents. But. Like the people who, uh, when foreign cards were legal, would hold, would put English cards that they didn't have foreign versions of their right, deck right, out, right. like, oh, it's translation. It's actually illegal, but yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I mean... People would cheat. <laughs> yeah, cheating happens. So we're going to see a retreat, but I'm not sure if we have a Terrakion or any other thing to really power up but Turbo Energize. Um, did Sam Chen win uh, Philly, by the way? Is that a thing? Okay. <clears throat> no, OTP is not biased, but go Sam. Uh, so we're going to see... Yeah, we just see Turbo Energize onto the Victini. I guess that's better than nothing. I mean, he didn't... <clears throat> Didn't really have anything going. <laughs> uh, Dustin just uh, bought three more boxes. Um, really questionable decision on his part, but uh, we love him and we're here for They're him. They're open too, so maybe he just traded those straight across. There's somewhere. 31 packs each. Uh, <laughs> he bought them from this really shady looking dude. I right. think the guy might have just taken the five oh, heavy packs. Pokemon! Is that what that says? Right. There's no uh, <laughs> accent over the E. Uh, <laughs> They're sealed and duct tape, dude. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're the same. Dustin got swindled. I'm sorry. Uh, he got robbed out of uh, Worlds. He got robbed out of this. <laughs> so, it looks like we got Turbo Energize onto a Victini. I mean, I don't... Which, that's definitely not ideal, but... um. Right. But, I mean, he can do the, the bigger attack. I forget its name. Does 30 damage to a Bufalant. No, I mean, in the future. Like, yeah, just, Intensifying just getting, Burn is the Intensifying Burn. Yeah, he just keeps getting things up. Um... <clears throat> a turn two knockout on a Victini is really bad for Justin. He has no other Pokemon, it looks like, JW. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> never mind. Is that a Mewtwo? Yeah, that's a Mewtwo. Okay, he was just taking his time a little bit, so I wasn't sure if he didn't have anything. Players might have been talking or something, I don't know. So this game, um, early impression is that Justin is in a pretty bad spot, JW is in a bad but marginally better spot, and both of them are getting new hands, uh, so that might take this game to the next phase. But I really think Justin not being able to turbo energize to a Terrakian is going to um, hinder this a lot. Having two Victinis out um, while there's still a Bufalant that's not dying anytime soon is really, really terrifying. Um, JW is going to take two prizes this turn, and Justin is not going to be able to stop him from taking two more next turn. Um, and that might be enough uh, for JW to win. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, because the thing is, is that he, um, the Bufalant's going to knock out the Victini, and then uh, Justin's in a position where he's saying, okay, well. I can turbo energize and then lose my Victini and like we have to knock out one more EX to win the game. So, um, definitely not an ideal start. Not an, not an ideal start for either player, really. And it's uh, very rock paper scissorsy when you think about um, like Victini having a type advantage over Verizian uh, seems to like no, oh, he wins and fire beats grass. Um, but Buffalant, uh is the best Victini EX counter um, in the game. And um, Terrakian is weak to uh, Genesect, which JW plays. So they it's almost a matter of like <laughs> who each player is forced to attack with. Like, like a back and forth? Yeah. If, like, it's going to be pretty one-sided in somebody's favor. Like If Justin is forced to do what he's doing and use too many Victinis, they're just going to die to Bufalant. But um, if JW has a lot of grass guys out on the field early and Justin's able to like stabilize, then... Right. So... I think this matchup is starting to seem more and more even the more we see it play out. Um, this I, game, at the very least. Like. Yeah, I, I, I am definitely predicting JW as a winner, um, if I had to call it this early, but anything can happen. Um, does JW play lasers? Yeah. Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, there's a fur bank out. <laughs> cool. We see a Terrakion uh, with a f attached to the fire energy onto the... Uh, it's an NVI track, yeah, no EX, and I, uh, so did JW not, oh, he played the end, he played the end, he played the end, okay, so, plays the end, knocks the Victini, knocks out the Victini, passes. I think Justin's gonna, if he can turbo energize here, he might just want to get it over with, since there's nothing stopping 
JW from just capturing that Victini anyway. Right, um, the Victini is going to die eventually, and you might uh, well yeah, get something of value out of it. I think. And with Victini specifically, that's always been my line of thinking. Like um, when I played it in radials, there were, were turns where my opponent was like, <laughs> honestly bad. Um, my opponent would uh, look like kind of surprised when I would just like bring up a Victini and so let it die. But um, I mean, there it's just a catcher away from being two free prizes and. Turbo Energize is such a powerful attack. It's like right. arguably worth it. Darkrai was a bigger threat to Victini back then, right? Than Buffalant, like Darkrai was more prevalent. Um, no, Buffalant was really popular, like during states. Okay, I, was, I guess I was thinking more towards like Nats for some reason, but yeah, Just, I forgot states is where you really shine. Victini sucked at nationals. <laughs> and <clears throat> so he's got this really enhanced hammer. Obviously, going to enhance hammer off the uh, double. Col what? JW made Colorless. him uh, announce which energy he was discarding. Um, and that actually is not, I, I don't want to say pretty big, uh, but the fact that Justin is going to be able to enhance Tamer, um, two DCEs throughout the course of the game, um, we have his list in front of us. I know he plays at least two hammers. If he plays three, that's even better. Um, but if he's able to, cool. Yeah, there are three enhanced hammers. Um, so if he's able to keep DCE is not only off of Buffalons, but in the discard, then he's getting more utility out of Drift Limb, and his Victinis are going to live to die another day. Interesting play by, uh, yeah, that's... by Justin here. So he's going to... So we see that Justin has entered kind of his like discussion phase. about this, and I don't understand um, why. I think so he's gonna they've made it very <laughs> clear that... Beat up, about, beat up about the fact that he doesn't have to attack. <laughs> so he's going to turbo energize, and he's going to... Uh, so he sends up the Victini with a VP piece on it so that um, he's still just saying, your Mike Fiend's going to get knocked out of your VTC, I don't care. But he's at least protecting the other one, so if he... Because um, he's going to be using that one to uh, attack. Yeah, I mean, he, he's probably Grass boys. not... Yeah, exactly. He's like he just And also, just like in general, it's better to keep that one. He doesn't really care about the VPs. It's, the energy's worth... Uh, like, the having the other Victinis up is worth more. Sure. Um, so so Epion is now completely ready for... Um, it, like it's it's completely built up and knock out that uh Buffalant. And neither player really like I mean not neither player. JW doesn't really have much going on. I mean he has the like Buffalant's been like particularly good in this game, but like objectively he hasn't he hasn't yeah. been really doing much at all. And um what I do think JW is hoping for here is he's gonna need to hit two DCEs two turns in a row, which is not easy at all, but a DCE a DCE here and then a DCE and a laser to respond to the Terrakian after Justin knocks out the Buffalant. Um, but that, I mean, JW doesn't have much of a hand, and that seems pretty unlikely. So if JW isn't able to take a knockout with this Buffalant, um, then Justin is suddenly a favorite to win this game, which Definitely. I know it's like my gimmick to just call games way too early, but and then change my mind three times. But <laughs> uh, I do think that... Um, so we're going to see a laser on the Victini, which uh, indicates to me that, yeah, right, so either indicates to me that JW either has a uh, Juniper or a, um, doesn't doesn't have a way to knock out the Victini this turn. Um, Seems like both these players are playing pretty, uh, uh, say, uh, technically, you know, they're, they're, okay. they're very, uh, making sure everything's going right, maybe a little bit of angle shooting going on, uh, both sides of the field, maybe. Get uh, Justin Phillips getting his head a little bit. I don't but, know. <laughs> both of these players do have uh, reputations for being very by the book. Uh, JW is uh, notable for being very unforgiving of misplays and mistakes, and um, Justin is uh, <clears throat> has kind of a reputation in our area for being very um, like I don't want to say skeptical because uh, like he's playing against people he knows more often than not, and people don't really cheat. Uh, but he like calls coin flips in the air and shuffles anybody's deck and it like is very Just doing by the things, book in doing that regard. By the book, yeah, doing yeah. Um, so both of these players, uh, very straight and narrow. Well, uh, JW is very straight and narrow. Yeah, definitely. And we have. Uh, oh. <laughs> Justin is going to. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, Justin dropping a Drift Loon and uh, off an Ultra Ball, and now or get Ultra Balling forward Drift Loon. Now he's taking some considerations, looking through JW's discard. Uh, wait, what? He played the Drift Loon and Juniper the Ultra Ball. Oh, I see. Okay, so 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 uh, 
JW is looking through his Discord file. Okay, he's quite confused. He's going to attach to the uh, Victini that's active. Looks like he's going to try and just retreat it. That was a Go real uh, thorn in my side this weekend. Uh, when you have a Victini with a victory piece, um, just always having to waste your attachment to retreat him. Right, you can't have a flow stone on that boy. But obviously, I mean, <coughs> he's... <laughs> we do see that Justin has forgotten to remove his poison counter. I'm surprised JW hasn't tried to make him take damage. Um. <laughs> and Skyla. So there's a Michu promoted by JW. He has two grass energy. Um... And uh, uh, Skyla is being played here. I don't know what's in his hand. If he gets a laser, he has the knockout, um, which gets him to three prizes, so not incredibly relevant. Um, I don't think there's... If he's going to get the laser, he's going to go for the knockout, take the prize. Again, JW is not really doing anything here. Like he's He's been good in this particular matchup because he had the early Bouffalant versus early Bikinis, but he hasn't... I mean, he, he's had few supports. I wonder if he... If that's... If... Uh, he wishes that Skyla could just be for a Juniper or for an Ana or something that's mm -hmm. actually going to like advance his board state and not just uh, take prizes. And I know it sounds kind of silly because taking prizes how you win the game, but uh, he doesn't really have anything else besides his Mewtwo going on. I mean, he has literally nothing besides the Mewtwo going on. Right. He has a big, he has a pretty big hand though, so maybe he's got something. How much damage is on the uh, Victini? Uh, thirty. So, um, if JW, if Skyla was his only supporter. JW just comes up in intensifying burns, then that puts JW on a clock as you mean well. Just in intensifying burns. Yeah, and sorry. Like, excuse me. It was a hundred. And also, how many uh, does JW have? Two DC units this card. Uh, yes, because he uh, one was enhanced hammers off, enhanced hammered off, and one was knocked off of, um, from the Trachea knockout. So if JW doesn't <clears throat> bench another basic this turn, um, Justin can. Uh, so we I, see, I don't think JW is anticipating that, or he would have Skylid for a way to get a basic, but uh, see, Justin could spook him. We see JW <laughs> catcher the Victini laser. The laser misses its tails, and he's, now he's going to um, put the Victini <laughs> at 100, uh, 110 damage after the, after the poison damage. Knock it out. Two prizes left. I don't... Uh, he's just a catcher away from winning, essentially. But JW is just uh, an energy and a ultra ball. Sorry, he's not a catcher. Or winning, Justin. The, the other boy doesn't have a. Uh, the other Victini does not have energy on it. Justin so I'm guessing Justin doesn't thing. have access to the Shadow Steel. We also could be wrong about how many DC are in JW's discard. Um, That's true. Or, yeah, a variety of factors. And Justin's going to Skyla. With the victory piece, I, again, like you said, Justin can just two-hit this Mewtwo. Um, I, we actually might see the Drift Flame here, I think. Uh, I, I can't imagine what else he's going right, to Ultra Ball for. Right. But I also feel like if he just had game, he wouldn't be that careful about his Ultra Ball discard. So um, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing here. You don't want to mess up, dude. <laughs> um... So he's going to go for an Ultra Ball, discarding Pokemon Catcher, and a Float Stone. Floatstone. We imagine he's going for the Drift Blim, but yep, well, he definitely pushed it to the front of his deck, plays it. So I, we may be witnessing the slow roll of the century. Uh, What's the attack cost on that Drift Blim? One colorless, one colorless, so he's got it. I think he has an energy in his hand. Uh, we, we could be arguing about the number of uh, special energies in JW's Yeah, we must be. Pile, because I don't see why he would... Yeah, they would just be shaking hands right yeah, now, so he must do, only have so one yeah, DC. Just do 100, uh, 50 times 2. But, I mean, this does pressure him because um, if he doesn't draw a way to get a basic Pokemon, he is going to lose the game unless he can find a way to knock out that Victini. Which, in fairness, a catcher energy laser does it. And... Uh, he maybe he might have he it. He might have it. <laughs> what? Okay, so he's an energy shield. Okay, okay. So we have the laser and... Speaking of slow rolls, does he have it? Uh, Justin is paralyzed and poisoned. Um, JW is playing the... I mean, also... The he... A-spec uh, hypno-paralytic laser. Oh, okay, so he has the... He has the paralyzed thing. toxic laser. Paratoxic, there it is. Drawing seven Sorry, cards. Guys. If he gets any energy, the game is over. And, and I, no, it looks like he didn't. 
Um, I don't know. This game has what? been slow roll okay, city. So yeah. Okay. He does. JW is going to X ball. That knocks out the Victini. JW can take his last two prizes and win the game. What? Is- <laughs> so we are going. <laughs> we're going to see. Going to game two. Uh, JW up a game. Uh, not how we expected the match to turn out, but yeah, we did. We did. Uh, we did say that the Buffon was pretty good against the uh, against the Victinis. So. Um, not an optimal start by Justin at all, though. Yeah, not by even any close means. to one, so. <laughs> so who's your favorite to win this? Um, after seeing after seeing that Dex, I'm still gonna get it to Justin just based on I think that in I think that probably six or seven out seven probably out of ten games Justin wins, and I also just think like Dex is cool. Like Tio cool. just tried to jump in the trash can. <clears throat> it, someone should check on him. It's been a long weekend. For everyone. Um, I'm sure everyone wants to jump See Dustin Zerman in the background. See Henry Pryor playing on his 3DS. Um, and, his yep. and his iPhone 5S. Not to be confused with the iPhone 5. Um, he is not poor. Yeah, no. <laughs> He's not poor. He is a 1,000 yen millionaire. To remind you, uh, On the Bubble is brought to you by Top Cut Central. You're doing a lot for us. A lot for me and A lot for Michael the game. Here. A lot for all Chase. of you. <clears throat> yeah. All 216 of you in this chat, Woo! please topgetcentral.com, buy a play mat, facebook.com slash OTB Pokemon, like us to stay informed on when these are going to be up on YouTube, when um, we're going to be streaming other events, how you stay informed with us. Uh, do we have the results from the Sam Chen match that's still going on? And over in uh, twitch.tv slash OTB East, you Who can pauses see... pauses a live stream, Chase? God. You can see Sam Chen. Idiot. Oh, uh, I'm trying to... F- they're arguing... <laughs> And they're still playing. Sam, so Sam Chen and uh, Team U Francis is uh, they're both in finals. I think we can move back to the game now. I think players are just about getting set up. You want to talk about their shuffling <coughs> methods, you nerd? Um, yeah, I don't really like how he's shuffling. For one, he's putting his right hand over his left, which is strange. Uh, like how everyone shuffles? Are you that's not like this. Um, that's strange. Are you right-handed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, you guys shuffle like this? Yeah, just. I mean, the viewers cannot see us. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's, 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 let's put, turn the camera back. Turn the camera back. Here, yeah, give me some cards. Like this? Is this what he's doing? Yeah. No, so. He's yeah, right hand. over left. That's how yeah. any yeah. normal. I do like this. I mean, your dominant hand over. That's what Evan what does. Is wrong? So wait, wait, so you do it like this? No. That's no. stupid. Because <laughs> you're, you're doing it like in a dumb way. <laughs> Yeah, what? That's stupid. Leftover. Oops. Oh yeah, that's stupid. Do it like me, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. So we're gonna go. Uh, gonna go back to the game. Oh, is that you, Deck? Yeah. Oh, that was Mike. I'm so sorry, James. I'm not. <laughs> um. So we're gonna go back to the game. Justin has a Victini EX, uh, opposing a Mewtwo EX on JW side. Victini EX is pretty much your ideal starter, but it doesn't do much without a some Trakians and some. Fighting or some fires and turn one turbo energizer is really where you want to be, but unfortunately, um, just is taking an awful long time here, so maybe he's deciding what to discard with an ultra ball. Obviously, fire and terrakion EX is what he wants to get. I see a drift in his hand, not really. I mean, we, we saw it help last, um, last game, so he's just gonna play it. I'm not sure if he has access to anything else. I think I saw a catcher in his hand. Two drift indeed. Sam, that's it. And he's gonna Skyla. I assume he's gonna get a find a way to start to track in. Maybe a heavy ball. We do we know he plays one heavy ball on his list. Um, Francis's deck, like just in the middle, like just like and there's like a big issue. Taking some taking his time it looks like. He's gonna get the VP, so um so we were Mike was paused, check out Sam Chen's uh, game in the finals of Philadelphia Regionals, but Skylar's for the VPs. <clears throat> Attached to the Vitini. So, there's an issue in Philadelphia right now during their finals match. Uh, Sam cut Francis's deck without the use of a card effect, and uh, it looks like play is resumed, but there was like, some controversy and judge intervention. I'm going to warn him, probably. Um, so we have dueling Skylas, we have a uh, one, and again, uh, we've seen this a lot with JW, where he just doesn't have, I don't know if he just, <laughs> <laughs> Justin's showing us his hand of a Juniper and a uh, triple catcher. Well, he shouldn't have showed the camera's hand, obviously, he was saying something. Um, right. 
I wish more players would do that, man. It's hard to do this without seeing their hands. Um, I still don't think that's... I don't think that's super bad news bears for Justin. Uh, if JW benches uh, grass Pokemon here, um, that's two prizes with one of those catchers, and he's only wasting two, and he'll have his fourth one left. Um, we see an Ultra Ball um, getting picked up off the Skylar. Switch. Just got a switch and a Fighting Energy. I'm predicting a Buffalo here, though, so I'd imagine the catchers are going to be all for not. Right. Um, this has got to be really heartbreaking for Justin. Uh, yeah, we switched Justin to a little bit. And he's, he seemed like he was pretty confident. He was, I mean, he, confident. he was kind of worried about the match. He was kind of worried about what uh, JW's deck was in specific, but he seemed like he, you know, was knew that he was favored. Mm -hmm. um, he was pretty confident in the matchup, and I say this over by any means. I mean, uh, Justin got a pretty bad start. Um, and but it's still, you know, it's still anyone's game. Um. Justin is still probably. Uh, Justin is still probably uh, gonna play one of those catchers. Aw, they're hugging in Philadelphia. Um, Did Sam change his loose? Sorry, we're gonna distract away. Uh, uh, Sam has won Philadelphia Regionals. My boy. Congratulations to Sam. Just clapping. They don't even know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Clapping for uh, Sam Chen <laughs> winning Philadelphia Regional. Sam Chen had the highest uh, oh, championship point to play point ratio last year, meaning he attended the fewest events, but still uh, of any Worlds qualifiers, I guess, um, or of anyone, and still qualified for Worlds. He only attended a very few events. He can only go to a few cities, and just he's just an incredibly consistent, very good player. Probably, I would say even underrated, um, especially among um, worst players because or like uh, inexperienced players. He's not very like super well known. Ew, he's left-handed. Dude, we already saw your hand, Justin. Here's a Victini now, don't you? Yeah. Oh, what? Is there a, yeah. Wait, here's a fourth? No, oh, my God. He used one of the oh, right. So, so he, he already played one, one, so he drew his fourth. That's why he showed his hand again. <clears throat> um, <sighs> that's got to hurt. For someone who's like, you can't shuffle your opponent's deck in the same way, he's like, I'm going to shuffle my hand, whatever. Like, that right. seems like <laughs> kind of silly, but whatever. <clears throat> uh, going to bench another Victini. Got Juniper away. Shows him the three catchers. What else can you do? No, JW no, get a seal of approval from up. good old JW. No. No, I was going to tell yeah, you the correct um, Sorry, our frame says they're 1-1. One, one. Obviously, uh, it's 1-0. JW is up a game. Um, Emily Angle is completely to blame for that mistake. Uh, mm -hmm. Please contact her on Facebook if you have any questions. So we're seeing... Not the Drift Flim uh, that Justin can actually use in this matchup, uh, so I think he just evolved for the sake of free retreat. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> it looks like... Did he attach that Drift Loom this turn? Oh, it's last turn. Okay, to so the he, best of my knowledge. I'm almost he, positive. He can um, uh, Turbo Energize, but uh, again, he's just going to get knocked out by the Buffalant if it has a... Um, if, if JW has access to a Double Colors Energy, but he's attaching to the Drift Loom... And passing the turn, so it uh, looks like he didn't really have an option to attack with the Victini. JW top decks a Buffalant, but it l considers playing it, but it looks like he's not quite going to. Again, Buffalants if you, um, in game one were the, the absolute key to this matchup. No DCE from JW, so... Um, he has it, attached that energy um, yeah. officially. Just, just attached it. No DCE, so it's going <laughs> to... So it's going to be at least another turn. Still has his hand on it, so maybe he's deciding against it. Not quite. And he's a, okay, so he is deciding against it. He did kind of. Interesting. Good sportsmanship from Justin, uh, allowing him to do that. Just kind of slow, slow it down. I do. Uh, I'm kind of curious about uh, how Justin. I it looks like he's just trying to manually uh, charge that drift blim to just do 70 to the Buffalon. Um That's actually like a pretty unique strategy. Um, he'll be doing 50 to Buffalon after Buffer, so he can two shot it and. Uh, <coughs> And again, he's just in the position last time, where, uh, same as last time, where he's just kind of being like, okay, well, boop, he has another Pokemon, so maybe I can right, yeah, shot so, you. Right, yeah, so, and he's even going to, but he's also, since JW didn't have the DC this turn, that means uh, Justin will be ahead on the exchange. Uh, Justin will be able to, like, Buf uh, Buffalant will do, like, 60, I th I don't even know what Goldbreaker does to Nani Xs, I think it's 60. 60. Yeah, so, um, well, okay, I guess it's not going to do any damage to Driftlin. <clears throat> and I just a pass there. He doesn't bench the other, um, the other Buffalant. I guess he's not really in fear of getting knocked out, but and that's I I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, he, he isn't. He's not going to get knocked out this turn, um, and he's just. 
Oh right, he d- oh yeah, right, he did discard the four, yeah, four of his catchers. <laughs> Dustin Zimmerman points I think, out, uh, and that's and another thing that like, um, just those really really subtle things that if JW had, was really cognizant of the fact that Justin had four catchers in the discard, he um, would probably bench that Buffon sooner. Um, so now JW's in a pretty bad spot. Uh, if he has a laser here, um. How much damage is on the Drift Blim? Any? No, no damage is in Zero. Uh, and Drift Blim has 100 hit Heads points. Heads on the laser. Um, so if the Drift Blim wakes up, it's going to kill that Buffalant. Uh, looks like there might be a dispute over the randomizer. Ooh, it wasn't transparent. Uh, no, I think it it might be transparent, but he, he flipped it like uh, he flipped it holding it uh, between his fingers, not an open palm. Oh. Uh, it seemed like he just shrugged it off, doesn't care. Nice so, yeah, Justin, right, Justin just being helpful, letting him know that um, a rule shark or a rules lawyer might have made him reflip, but uh, Justin decided to be a good sport, let him keep the heads. Indeed. <clears throat> so we we'll, we might see a gold breaker from JW this turn. I don't uh, think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has much of a hand. Yeah, he, he has one card in hand, I believe he just dropped a Buffalant. And that, do you know what the one card is? Do we know? No, I, I, I don't. I can't really see his hand. I just saw the Buffalant because he drew it and like, was going right. to play it. Um, so if Justin wakes up, he is um, definitely a favorite here. JW was hesitant to pass, which makes you feel like that one card is something he could have played. And showing him how to properly roll a die, and it is a heads. <laughs> and that, boo- that uh, Drift Blim seemingly will knock out that Buffalant. And I actually, the more I think about it, the more I love that he thought to um, attach energy to that Drift Blim. That's something that never would have occurred to me. Um, but it exchanges with Buffalant and... Um, a very low risk. Yeah, you know? that's uh, that's really, really cool on his and part. That, that, very well played. It was a, He spooked us. That was, that was really spooky of him. And now we see a position where JW has no energy on the yeah, Buffalant, so it'll take at least two turns. We know he doesn't have... like. We know he also doesn't have energy in hand, so it's going to take two turns of run or run or top decks to even be able to knock out this Drift Blim. And that will not be enough because the Drift Blim will knock him out first. So hopefully he drops something. He He's taking a while uh, when he's like, okay, so he passes. So he's like looking at his cards, so I assume maybe he had something, but I don't think he has. I think he's just uh, a little bit sad. We know Justin plays yeah, one so. switch. Um, if he can hit that here, uh, he will be in... Has he already played it? Um... If he hasn't, then uh, he's going to be in a really good spot. If Justin he's with the attachment, able to to the Victini. If you're just joining us, uh, I saw the OTB East stream just ended. Um, as you can see, uh, JW is up a game. He's playing uh, Vrizian Mewtwo. Correct. Um, and uh, Justin on your right is playing Victini, Tracheon, um, Drift Blim. I. Might have liked to see a shadow steal there, um, but I'm not sure how many DC are in JW's discard. Yeah, I, I, if it's just one, then I guess that wouldn't have done much. But um, if he was able to do um, 80 with shadow steal, then he would just put JW Seems on the like clock. Seems like there's some discussion amongst the players. Um, um, been a lot like back and forth in this game, like disputes over small things. Um, but also. Um, JW and Justin are also both very, very like personable, um, like talkative, friendly guys. So right, right. there's a good chance a lot of what we're seeing might just be like chit chat and banter. A lot of it too is that we only see their hands, and I assume when someone goes like this, it means you're like upset. Right. And they yeah. Turn their hands upward or around. Um, uh, so it, it's just gonna like I, the shadow steel. I think is okay, but the thing or the shadow steel, I think would have been preferable because the thing is is now he's just giving JW more turns. You know, yeah. He's just giving him additional turns like and uh, eventually seemingly he's gonna hit something. Um we might see <clears throat> Yeah, Skyla for that heavy ball, um if he doesn't have the cards he needs in his hand, or maybe an ultra ball. Um if Justin has the energy to attack next turn and can turbo energize to uh boy, that's probably his boy. I think that's what he wants to do here. By boy, you mean Trachea? Yeah, just one of his All fighting, right. just one of his fighting <laughs> boys. Hank? Hank, or Hanky X. Hanky X. Hank or Big Papa Hank. So, um, I'm expecting an Ultra Ball here, assuming Justin has energy in hand. Um, both of these games have been 
very weird. Both players are running very poorly, and both games have just been decided on who runs less poorly. Um, <coughs> hopefully we get to see a more interesting Game 3 if it gets to that point, um, which I'm assuming it will, but JW yeah, could. Like Justin's pretty far ahead. Um, is there any way Justin can like win this turn or like it, I, he absolutely cannot win? So this is he turn. Is he ultra ball? He took the ultra yeah. ball. Okay. So if he turbo energizes to a Hank, um, he will win next turn, barring a uh, top deck from JW. Gotcha. So we're expecting to see a Hank here. Um, judgment yeah, call on whether he gets big Hank or little Hank. I would recommend little Terrakian. Um, Agreed. Because Bouffant does less damage to it. Um, Do you have to get when you two are turbo energized? Do you have to get two energy? No. How does? How would anyone? Oh, know? Yeah, no, that's right. That's right Gets the big hang. So we have to assume that the um, turbo energized. So it, regular Terrakian must be prized because uh, it was definitely it is definitely better in this situation for Justin. But I also think we're kind of splitting hairs here. So uh, Justin will have game if that. Yeah. If JW all JW has to was do nothing, is draw. And it looks like it was nothing. He drew it. Turd. Set it down. I think he's just kind of. Making sure he has nothing, like yeah, we were talking about with Ross. And also making sure that Justin, like, no, yeah, he, like, understands. Like, yeah. might as well make it played out. Whatever, you have 42 minutes left in the match. Like, mm -hmm. maybe they'll forget. Uh, I think shuffling Justin's deck, if he actually has nothing, is kind of a, a little bit um, excessive, but maybe he has a chance. And also, it's probably really satisfying for Justin, like, right. <laughs> watching JW, like, go through all these motions, knowing he's just got game in hand. And my if that's a basic, I'm mm -hmm. actually going to defecate. <laughs> <My> um, <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Uh, he pl is playing a... That's a Verizian. Verizian? I really think so. <clears throat> um, the glare and the hands are making it pretty tough. Yeah, so that's a Verizian. And... Oh, really? Dang. Oh, My bad. We're going to have to talk a little bit more quietly. At least I'm talking in code. The room uh, has... The room ha <laughs> <laughs> All right, the so he's, he's benched a Vince here. The room um, has emptied out. Um, we're going to have to talk a little bit softer. Let me turn our mics up. Somebody, somebody's yeah, phone near the mixer. Emily, get your stupid phone out of here. Yeah, there we go. Um, but it's making our thing go all wacky. Yeah. Um, so somehow <clears throat> JW went from about to lose the game to... Uh, Bicycling for like three cards, having two Pokemon on the bench. Uh, yeah. But I still feel like having to bench that Parisian is definitely bad news bears. Um, Justin just needs a catcher to put himself at one prize, and he can take that one prize with and any Pokemon on the board right now. JW is going to pass, and looking through his discard pile, so I assume maybe he has like a maybe he has a Dowsing or something, maybe he has a Skylet. Oh no, he's just Ooh. Color Sync. Okay, so Color Sync for five. Seems reasonable. I think he can. You can tell he's kind of excited. Either way, he's getting a knockout. This turn yeah. it looks like, and either way, he's uh, one like t attack away from winning after this, essentially. So it's like, uh, obviously, the, the the dream is to catch your energy, um, intensifying burn the Verizian, But sometimes dreams don't come true, folks. Heard that? I'll let us know in the chat. I guess if the audio is a little too low, we don't. Yeah, because we can't. Oh, yeah, all of his catchers are oh, gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, Justin has no catchers. Uh, thanks uh, thanks for the reminder, guys. I forgot he played four of those boys. Four boys. And um, so we're going to see the uh, pump up smash, no energy attached. We do know that JW did uh, kind of fail to consider <clears throat> that Justin was out of catchers earlier. Um, there's a. By not benching that move a lot. Yeah, that could happen again. Also. Yeah, now an enhanced hammer wins Justin the game. Um, we know he has one left, so um, that's going to be really huge for Justin. Justin plays four Skyla, um, and he has one enhanced hammer left and other supporters. There's a very good chance he can get one on his turn, so I really like Justin's odds here. Um, JW seems to have finally gotten things moving, but uh, my guess is that it's too little too late. Yeah. I mean, in fairness, I, like, JW didn't like mess up or anything. The DC is going in the discard pile either way, so... You want to move your mic a little bit closer? There's, we're getting like one light, and okay. when we're talking at full volume, it's supposed to go to like here. Sounds good? Alright, cool. Sounds good? Okay. Thanks for letting us know. It sounds good. Um, there's like a room that's supposed to seat about 400 people. There's probably a dozen, two <laughs> dozen, so definitely got a little choir. Shout out to Puka for telling us the commentary <laughs> was a little too loud. Um, better to hear it from him than like a grumpy tournament staff. Right. 
All right. And there we go. Game. We are moving to game three. As predicted, Justin. I mean, <laughs> these games are really wacky. I hate saying as predicted because, like, these games aren't going how they're supposed to at all. <laughs> but, like, as predicted, just, Justin is winning. Uh, yeah. Winning uh, has a good matchup. Like, it's, even with, like, with starting a boof line and getting, like, um, an, at least one knockout on the Victini, uh, JW just couldn't pull it together. Seems like he's having just a lack of... Um, I'm not convinced that JW plays supporters in his deck. Uh, <laughs> we've seen, like, five between Perhaps. two games. Uh, yeah. Back in the booth, we got a crowd full What's of up, people. Nerds? Yeah, we just got uh, the whole crew. <laughs> the whole crew. <laughs> people I don't even know. Just sitting around. Oh, no new friends. Just a bunch of James Cosses. James Coss um, everywhere. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. We're on stream. Oh, so this man. is uh, pretty intense. I after, be Going into this match, we thought uh, it was going to be pretty one-sided in Justin's favor after game one. Uh, our opinion kind of changed, and now we've ended up with quite the nail biter, eh, I mean, buddy? mind you, it's just like in in a normal game, like in a game that's supposed to work how the game works. Uh, <laughs> Justin will win like, again, like seven times out of ten, yeah. probably seven and a half times out of ten uh, against. Um, but in games like this, I just like, don't know. Like, uh, start Lone Buffalo, attach DC, kill you, and then it's basically like, this weird like back and forth of like each player not really doing anything. So, mm-hmm. um, at this point, if these games keep going as they are, I think it's anyone's, but. I think Justin has pretty heavily advantage. He does. Um, he has to go second this game, but it's kind of mitigated by the fact that uh, it's entirely mitigated by the fact that um, JW cannot attack on turn one. Really, I don't think he has nope. an option to. And Mewtwo DC. Ah, uh, true. Uh, uh, DC Mewtwo. And additionally, um, Justin's deck. We can go back to the game probably. Justin's deck um, is like uh, when you attack on turn one, it's basically like attacking for two turns straight. You know what I mean, it's yeah. like getting it. It's like sorry, it's like it's like taking two turns. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Man, is that three for three? I know it's at least two for three. But what's uh, that? Starting Drifflin for Justin. Oh, oh uh, yeah, it's definitely two for three. Yeah, I mean he plays four of those guys, so right. He has the same odds of starting that as Victini. But oh, next question. We're not going to see. Uh, we remarked a little a couple seconds ago about a uh, possible Victini victory piece donk on a Verzian, but we're not going to see that. Um, JW does discard two grass energy with an Ultra Ball, though. We've seen, th- I don't know if you were on, on commentary with me, Mike, but we have seen a few times with this deck that, um, energy is just a huge, huge resource, um, and that we've seen people super rod three energy back in multiple times. It's like, you have, like, have an energy drought, and I wish I had a little bit of Ross about it, and he agreed that it was kind of like the bottleneck of this deck if there is one. Um, <laughs> maybe that's just our experience, though. It's you know, a small sample size. <clears throat> And uh, shuffle up. We should just send the crowd from here over there to just have casual conversations. Agreed. All you guys should just go over there and be like, so how is, it, how is your day? Yeah, we, you guys, the reason it's getting so much quieter in here is because more and more people are coming back over here and being quiet. We need all of these people to just go be really loud over there so we can talk louder. <laughs> Carl Shu uh, to the rescue. He's going to go do what he does best. Also, talk way too loud. Yes. <laughs> And we. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> we have a laser and a pass on JW side again. JW can't really attack effectively on turn. Did JW one. play a supporter? I don't believe. So. I don't believe so, but perhaps. And Justin's gonna play a Skyla. Well, consider, considering playing a Skyla again, I, just, I really don't like this. Like, I don't understand. We talked about this before, but I understand why players just like play cards. Like, I have this card, but I might not play it. Like, you can just also just, just like do it in your head. Sit it, yeah, sit so your hands down. There's like an old, uh, I think it's a chess like uh, ideal, I guess, where you just like sit on your hands. It doesn't really work in Pokemon because you want to be looking at your cards, but like your card games in general. But um, people like sit on their hands, so they're not like they don't make moves. Like, yeah. Uh, just by like per, um, like uh, habit, mm-hmm. like really like actively think to make a move. But I have. Um, um, Pretty big issue with that too. Not issue like I have an issue, but I mean I I do that. Yeah, I think, I think like it's oh, a hard do, habit. You do, do it a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, like yeah. holding holding a card out, like bending it in half. On yeah, the David David Cohen will deciding if I'm gonna like oh, snap baseball, it down. Obviously. We see a Skyler for an Ultra Ball. <laughs> Help. And deciding what to discard. It's been a pretty long day for all of us. We play started it around 8 a 8 p.m. It's now, or sorry, 8 a.m. It's now 6:21 p.m. So 
I was 12 hours at it, along with a 12 plus hour day yesterday. It's been a long time for both of these players, and a long time for us. These guys have um, been through 14 <coughs> hours of, or 14, <laughs> 14 rounds of Swiss, which I mean, I guess is 14, 50 minutes of Swiss. Uh, 14 rounds of Swiss. Um, <laughs> they've both uh, played through top eight and top four. I know Justin two owed his top eight opponent. Um, and his top four opponent. Uh, so that's four extra games. So Justin has played 18 games today, or so far. No. Okay, I give up. Okay. Just, so Justin, <sighs> Justin used his one time on a, uh, I think it was uh, early, one of the early rounds from yesterday, Justin was playing against the same deck, and Justin just turned one victory piece, uh, intensifying burn, intensifying burn, intensifying burn, three times in a row against Verizon, and it's like to take the game. And, um, you usually have to sell, sell your soul to the devil to make that kind of... <laughs> To make that kind of game, and fortunately, he used that uh, soul selling on round three instead of the finals. But hey, we do see a uh, what's the energy tech called? Michael, very sorry, turbo energize. Turbo energize on sorry, I don't the, know. I've never used onto it. the <laughs> Um And we're seeing a second, um, second grass energy on the Verizon. It can fuel an emerald slash um, if we need to. And can't see JW's hand at all. Um, and it looks like he is just going to go attach two grass energy to the Mewtwo, do 50 damage to the Victini. And Justin is going to start his turn. Making some considerations, evolving into. The Drift Blim. In, in hindsight, do you wish you had played a deck more like Justin's and with less evolutions and such? Uh, For sure. Mike, or, um, I, <clears throat> I think uh, I, the like evolution and Zoark thing was uh, just a very like theory based, um, like last minute, um, untested idea that just sort of backfired. Whereas Drift Blims are sort of tried and true. We see him. <laughs> Manually powering up that drift limb again. Uh, it's definitely not something he wants to be doing. CJW using the wrong doors. Yeah, we just can't tell at all. It's 70, right? <laughs> I've already forgotten what attack drift limb used, so uh, we don't know how much damage is on that Verizian. Uh, yeah, 70. It's derail. There's 70 on the Verizian right now. Um, not sure but what. But also kind of bad. See. All apologies. Oops. You definitely you can't see it on the stream anymore, but that is an active Verizian, uh, soon to be an active Mewtwo. Indeed. Um, is that four energy? Is that yeah, three energy? Four. four energy. Okay. Um, so obviously more than enough to knock out that Drift Blim. And, and Justin has one card in hand, I think. I don't know what it is, so he might just be dead here. He might just. Yeah, I think this big Mewtwo could definitely. Um, it's where it's the, like both players just have not ever had benched Pokemon during any yeah, of these games. Like, JW had it like the last turn, but it's been really disappointing to see it. the way these games have played out. Um, but it's definitely looking like and top deck mode looks and it ends so <sighs> miracle end. Um, Justin really wants to see like victory piece catcher here. Um. That Mewtwo is. I mean, the Mewtwo is still just a threat, though. So like, it's, difficult it's, to answer. It's knocking out the Victini the other way. It's yeah, he out, obviously has to bench something. It's knocking out Drift Loons or Drift um, Loons. Like it's, it's doing a lot. I kind of at a loss for how Justin is even going to answer that Mewtwo. Um, JW only has four prizes left. I think he's going to need. It's going to need to be like a re retaliate followed by. I don't know. That's. Oh, he has five prizes. Okay. Um, that's. A little more manageable, but um, still not ideal. Uh, but that and Mewtwo the, is just going to keep end, getting bigger, and Justin the definitely needs to answer it. No Pokemon. Uh -oh. He looks awful sad. Um, oh dear. Can't quite tell. I think there would have been some more crowd noise if it hadn't. Um, people are standing behind Justin playing. <laughs> Maybe Justin uh, <clears throat> is getting him back for slow rolling the basic last game when Justin was about to win. That seems like he definitely has an option to get a basic. I doubt that he actually just has a basic. Maybe he has like an ultra ball. He's considering, you know, considering playing right. or a heavy ball, considering what to get. Like he has some. Um, it's obviously not a very good hand. Obviously, has some. Also, he does have, okay, so have the Trakian. I think he's just deciding whether to attach to it or not. Victory piece. Does he have the catcher? Actually, doing a hundred to the Mewtwo might be better. Um, right. Yeah. I, 
even if he had the catcher, I think I still like that play because that Mewtwo just needs to be taken Don't care win. of. Yeah. And this is what makes Rizian Mewtwo so scary. Um, big Mewtwo's are just so threatening. Uh, I really like the Scramble Switch in JW's deck. Yeah, I love Scramble Switch in general. Do you see if Chris Fallout played it in his Plasma deck? Really? Earlier today, yeah. I heard he did pretty well on that bump. Yep. So yeah, unfortunately, he wasn't. He didn't make cut. Uh, but we have had a pretty interesting top eight so far. We'll see a juniper, and this this fifteen is going down. I'm going to put JW to three prizes, uh, just like that. Knockout and. So Justin's still like not in the very like he's six prizes left and he has the check-ins first attack. Uh, what are the details of that boy again? It just does fifty and it's not affected by right, resistance. Right, right. And so like uh, that Mewtwo is doing one twenty right now. Um, it could be doing more depending on what JW hits off this end. I guess I guess JW, uh, Justin can get the laser. Yeah, Justin's not in. and the stadium and Justin doesn't not play either of those cards. Well, all right. <laughs> Um, Never mind, you can't. But yeah, that'd be pretty good here, wouldn't it? Um, he might not be in that bad of a spot as long as JW doesn't draw out of this end. Because um, if he can kill that Mewtwo over the next two turns while establishing a board, he might be poised to make a comeback, but I just don't see him taking six prizes before uh, JW can take three. Right. And drawing his six cards... Uh, oh, he's just telling him no cuts. I thought he was passing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and taking a look, I can't really see. I see an energy. I think I see. I, 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 I really tell. wanted to see a pump up smash, um, like actually putting energy on a Pokemon here. Uh, but it's not going to be happening. Yeah. Oh, duh, he can't even pump up. Smash. Yeah, he doesn't have the energy. I really wanted to see it, but it's impossible. Uh, <laughs> One fifty. On the Mewtwo. Wait, I'm tired. Wait, wait, wait. It has been a long day. You got in a car accident yesterday. Yeah. We're taking Mike to the emergency room once this turn once this tournament's over. He's <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in Indiana, fun fact, they have a uh, uh, billboards advertising their emergency rooms with the wait times. I didn't know billboards. I didn't know uh, emergency rooms were a, like a, a impulse stop, but I guess <laughs> they are here. Um, <laughs> Eight minutes. That's yeah, no, say, not so like, bad. I, was, I think I'll I was, try skydiving. Well, I, 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 I was going to deal with my <laughs> broken leg it. tomorrow, but. Eight minutes, whatever. I got time. Like, what? No one does that. Like, go to the hospital if you're sick. <laughs> Don't get taken care of. And Easy for Chase to say. If Justin. Justin doesn't have any. I think he's like revealing. Oh, okay. I thought he's like throwing his hand and can see, but obviously must have something. No, maybe not. This is looking ugly. I mean, even if he does have something, it's really looking very ugly. Like, obviously, there's, I guess there's no reason to concede because he can't knock out the Mewtwo this turn. Um, and he, maybe JW doesn't have energy. He does have one energy on that Verizian, though, right? And yeah. one on... Is there one on the Mewtwo as one well? One on the Mewtwo, yeah. Bench, okay, so... Lots of outs. Your team. <laughs> Justin doing some counting. Uh, still 25 minutes in this game. We'll be totally fine for time. And we see a Trakian with a fighting come down for Justin. So let's going to keep him in the game at least. I still uh, don't think he's in the best position, but he's not just out of it yet. I really wish that was a retaliate Trakian. <coughs> um, I'm assuming he just didn't have access to one. Right. And Justin taking two prizes, knocking out the Mewtwo. JW. If he has any, if he has any energy here, he's knocking out. Um, and setting up that Mewtwo. Yeah, knocking out both knocking out the Dragon and setting up a Mewtwo or other Pokemon. I don't know. Getting out of but if he game, doesn't, he's actually. Yeah, he might. He might not. It, Oof. Oh, so he's Shucks. just passing. Darn it, Adam. So he's uh, uh, Justin is kind of back in this now. For um, sure. So he has. Does he have any way to increase the damage then? From no, like he can. Yeah. So. That's coming off. Serious business time. Um, he's already used his victory piece this game, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that Verizian is gonna survive this turn. 
I think, a pump-up smash here um, with actually pumping up, smashing some energy would be good. A catcher would be good for sure. Looking through his discard he actually file. has access to catcher this game. Hopefully he's able to utilize them. We can't... We're talking so quietly. Whatever. Uh... Trying to, okay, I can't. I can only hear Mike through the headphones. So trying to talk, here, trying to talk more quietly, like a human being. Um, Justin, considering his options, obviously pump up smash what he wants here. I do see the energy is uh, the fighting energy is hand. Looks like was he ultra balling? I couldn't tell because Emily was yelling at us. Gosh dang it, mom. <laughs> Angle shooting. And Justin is going to get a Drifloon with that. Drifloon's pretty good against the Mewtwo if the game gets think to there any DC in the discard. I do not believe there are. And we see. An energy being attached to the Trachyon EX. Gonna go for a pump up smash this turn. Will not knock out the Verzian, but which 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 guy do you want to see? Which boy do you want to see loaded up with energy? Um, this pump up smash, Michael. Just one on each would be good. That way they're both um, more or less able to attack. But uh, he didn't have any in his hand, which is super unfortunate. Uh, I mean. So JW um, may not be able to do much this turn. Uh, doesn't look like he... Yeah, wow. I mean, he has the... He's switching from four dice to three. Efficiency, very good. Um, if he has an energy, he gets to knock out the Terrakion. And then all I'm he... I'm just assuming he doesn't because yeah, that's right. he didn't last turn. Oh, okay. And then, um, well, if that happens, he gets he just to knock out the Drift Plume. He right. does have it. If Never say never. <laughs> uh, and a Max Potion on the... On the Verizian. Likely seals this game over JW. He's got a different hand. He does, he does a different hand? No, I'm just assuming uh -oh. because he started playing everything at once. A Mewtwo. Uh, oh, well, no, considering the Mewtwo, but he doesn't quite play it. Taking a look through his good pile, I think that uh, JW doesn't quite have anything, but he's going to take two prizes this turn. I, As long as he doesn't draw a couple lead off those prizes and his next top deck, I think this likely seals the game for him. It looks like Mike and I, and most of the crowd here, were wrong. Um, about the result, I would have probably put money on. Does he have a DC in his discard? No. Yeah. So I do not believe there's a DC in his discard. And enhanced hammer, but um, that's not enough. It's definitely looking like JW is going to be your regional champion. Again, My regional that, champion. That, Our that, regional champion. What? You predicted. All of um. Apologies if you can't really hear us. We're not sure how the audio is going. We have to talk really quietly. There's we're in a very big room with very few people. Um, left of the finals. Okay, thank you. Uh, we see an enhanced hammer on the Mewtwo. Um, so we could see like a drift bloom doing a hundred this turn, and then um, if JW can't immediately respond, Justin can take two prizes. But I still feel like. Um, I mean, in fairness, like um, Justin. Oh, sorry. In fairness, like Justin is, uh, like not out of it by any stretch because if he can knock, if he can put pressure on the Mewtwo, uh, knock it out. Like JW doesn't really have much. Mind sure. you, JW has an extra turn. Um, like he's he's not like it doesn't um like win the game or anything. Like, he has an extra turn to see what he can do. But <clears throat> also, a a actually, at that point too, if JW gets any energy on the Mewtwo, he can knock out the Drift Bloom, right? No. no. Um, Drift Bloom has 100. Oh, boy. And me, uh, Drift Bloom is weak to Dark. Oh, sorry, I thought it was weak to Psychic. That makes sense. And we're going to see a Call Risk for 4. So we see JW shuffling all the energy to the top of Justin's deck. <laughs> Quite... 
I see a drift. So this will be balloon. I see an pretty end. crucial. Drops a drift loon. Energy retrieve. What's the one of you were talking about? Yeah, I, I really like that card with pump up smash. Um, <clears throat> obviously, he's using it just because it's the only way he can get energy this turn. Um, so he will be able to do 100 to that Mewtwo for one energy, which is definitely um, pretty strong. Uh, Drift Blim uh, is really strong against a deck that plays any amount of special energy just because it's so hard to keep that out of your discard. So he will be able to do 100. And then JW... I don't know. I think I guess the clock's sort of ticking for JW, albeit very slowly, and he still does have plenty of time to take that one prize, but Justin is uh, at least putting putting some pressure on. So he's going to Shadow Steal for 100. There's one DC in the discard pile. And There's a very good another chance another JW energy. doesn't have another energy at all. No. And a catcher on... So this is actually really interesting because now Justin can knock out this Mewtwo, putting a second DC in the discard, and then he can kill the last Mewtwo for his last two prizes. If he has, yeah. if he has laser Verbank, though, uh, it, it is... He's got it. And it's the, the laser X-Ball for the knockout. JW Crewell is your Fort Wayne, Indiana Regional Champion.